and my director said, stay away from those chocoholic donuts. But I said, no, I have to take a bite before. I come on GTV breakfast sports and it was delicious. Mwah! Go to our social media, GTV Ghana. See how the preparation went. Learn how to do it and prepare it for your family and your loved ones. I told you Thursday, we have a lot to offer for you on GTV breakfast. It's the best morning show in the country. A bit later, the headlines will come your way. There's a man who is always punctual lawyer Jantua. you see him on the headlines with king cav there's a big conversation also on online loan apps but at this moment i'm bringing you all the sizzling hot trending news in the sporting world i am multi decider sadik follow our stream as i said rgtv gun on facebook youtube and on twitter wherever you are in africa and the world you can watch us on dstv channel 278 we are looking at the black stars going into those afghan qualifiers also the under 23 afghan that's going on in morocco i'll bring that to you the sale of Macy Mount. What's going on between Manchester United and Chelsea? And then I'll bring you some more international sports as well as tennis. Let's start off with the management committee members of the Black Stars, led by our chairman of the Black Stars, Mark Addo, who has paid a visit to the team at a training at the Accra Sports Stadium ahead of the trip to Madagascar tomorrow. The Black Stars are expected to leave Accra to Antanarivo on Friday to prepare for the qualifier against the Bereas of Madagascar on Sunday. The visit was to motivate them to give out their best in the qualifiers. Back to Ghana. Um, we know we have, uh, and also the minister, he was supposed to be here, but he's caught up at the uh, black, uh, the Jubilee House. Um, but they all went to express, uh, 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 they all expressed the fact that they are happy that you are here, you got in safely, and uh, wish you well in the next phase of this uh, competition. Um, normally, when we talk about Ghana, I remember the, uh, the day when we were at the, when we lost the game in uh, South Africa. Right, remember? And uh, the whole the spirit was down, and I said to you guys that we are Ghana, we are going to qualify. Remember that conversation we had, and obviously they did finally, eventually. But what are what people expect or the nation expect from the Black Stars under normal circumstances is that qualification is given. You know, usually it's how far we go. You know, semi-finals or finals. That's the expectation. So. Um, this time around, it hasn't been that. It ha it's not been that difficult. But at the same time, it hasn't been that quick enough. So we are where we are. Um, I believe if we win this game, then we automatically qualify. So this is a very important uh, game ahead of us, and we are praying that um, we will get the results that we want, Coach, and the whole nation is behind you. Uh, we're looking forward to this engagement and uh, we are very hopeful and once again on behalf of the president and the uh, mandate committee we wish you well and um, we'll go to Madagascar and we'll get the results inshallah and we'll qualify for the tournament. Thank you. And I'm so happy to see Suleiman. I remember that game against Liverpool when he scored about two goals. It was phenomenal. But the Black Meteos in Morocco. Now, Ghana's Black Meteos will face under-23 Afghan champions Egypt in a crunch friendly as part of preparations ahead of the upcoming under-23 Africa Cup of Nations. The Black Meteos arrived in Alexandria from Cairo yesterday and will continue their preparations in the city before departing to Morocco for the tournament next week. Now, the defending champions have have been drawn in Group B alongside Mali, Gabon, and Niger. And yes, we bring you all the highlights and details about that. But moving on, FIFA General Secretary Fatima Samura is to step down after seven years to spend more time with her family. Appointed in 2016, the 60-year-old will oversee this year's Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand before leaving at the end of 